As part of our efforts for temporary residents to transition to permanent residency, we'll have more domestic draws for us, for the feds, and ask provinces and territories taking part in the provincial nominee program to do the same with their allocations. This will realign our efforts and provide a pathway for those who are in the country who wish to stay and contribute to the country and to the economy. Recently, Canada's temporary resident volume has increased significantly, now reaching up to 2.5 million or 6.2% of our population in 2023. Therefore, in our levels planning, we'll be including a target in order to reach an adequate volume of temporary residents that we can welcome. As a starting point, we are targeting a decrease in our temporary residents population to 5% over the next three years. This target will be, of course, finalized in the fall after consulting our provincial and territorial counterparts as part of our annual levels planning. To set these targets, I'll be convening a meeting with my provincial and territorial counterparts, as well as other relevant ministers in early May. Provinces and territories know their unique labor needs and capacity and need to assume responsibility for the people that they bring in as well. This will be an opportunity for us to come together as partners to develop plans in realigning our temporary worker streams and bringing the people we need to build homes that we are short of, for healthcare workers that we need to ensure those hospitals are properly staffed, and early childhood ed educators we need to ensure people can work. Canada will continue to benefit from the important contributions newcomers make each and every day to us. We want every new family and resident to be set up for the success and be able to access the services that they need. Our ultimate goal is to ensure a well-managed, sustainable immigration system built on needs rather than profitability at the cost of integrity and sustainability.